So I just got back from Tanzania and it was an amazing trip. I met some awesome people, saw some beautiful sights, and of course I saw amazing wildlife, including some lizards. Now since it wasn't a herping trip, I didn't do a whole lot of preparation before going. So now that I'm home, I need to figure out what some of the lizards that I saw were. So in order to figure out the species, there are like two main things that I need to know. What does this lizard look like and where did I find it? So with what does it look like, I'm looking for identifying characteristics like um, what color it is, what shape it is, um, what do the scales look like? So does it have smooth scales or does it have rough scales and things like that? And two, location is such a big indicator because there could be lizards that look really similar to each other, but they have very distinctive um, geographical ranges. So one might only be found and say like the East Coast, while the other one might only be found on the West Coast. And that's how you tell the difference between the two. So let me show you guys how I identify lizards. All right, so we know that this lizard is most likely a skink. It is black with two cream stripes on it, and I found it in the Karatu region in Tanzania. All right, so we're gonna search Karatu region, Tanzania, and lizard. Those are our keywords. Keywords can be really important in whether you identify something or not. And then I do not want all of Tanzania's reptile biodiversity. It's a whole entire country. That would be a lot to go through. Um, let's see what we have here. Okay, so we have iNaturalist. iNaturalist is an awesome resource for identifying uh, different species. Doesn't matter if it's a lizard or not because they check to make sure that the identifications are accurate. And we'll see what they have here as far as reptiles. We have some frogs, snakes, lizards, and look, there it is. That is our lizard, the African striped skink. Now, that was easy. So identifying that lizard was pretty easy because one, I knew what it looked like, and two, I knew where I found it. So as soon as I saw it on that iNaturalist, I was like, okay, this is it. So it's not always that easy, but having those two uh, defining characteristics is super important. And I'll be going over these identification tips plus so much more in the course that I'm teaching with Atlas Obscura. Please sign up if you're interested in identifying lizards or other species, because really it translates to any other species that you're interested in. And I look forward to seeing you guys on September 30th.